Rasputin, you can't be serious. We have no other options. Aramis has breached the Warsat Network security protocols. Soon, our most dangerous weapon will be in our enemy's hands. Once she issues the command to fire, not even I will be able to stop it. Our only choice will be to destroy the Warsat. All of them. The only way to do that is... Yes. Once I am uploaded to the orbital station, you must activate my self-destruct sequence. No! There must be another way! I have run trillions of combat simulations. They all end with the same result. My mere existence places humanity in danger. All that I am, every protocol, every line of code, must be erased forever. I must die, so others may live. I won't let you sacrifice yourself. I know. Clovis built me to be a weapon, to destroy my designated targets. But you, you taught me to be something more. A shield, a protector, a guardian. He gave me form, he gave me function. But you gave me purpose. Please help me fulfill that purpose now. Let me save humanity. I just got you back. Now I have to say goodbye. I've always been with you, Anna. And I always will be. We have no time to waste. Aramis has accessed Abhorrent Imperative, the protocol I created to... ...to use the Warsats against the Traveler and prevent its departure. I surmise that the Traveler is Aramis's target as well. My internal algorithm has repaired me to the point where my self-destruct sequence can be initiated once I am uploaded to the network. However, Aramis has discovered and sealed the back door we installed aboard the station. You must manually link me to the controls. Breach Seraph Station with the Pillory Engram in hand. The time for subterfuge is over. Haste is what matters now. If Aramis fires the Warsacks, the resulting devastation will be incalculable. There may be nothing left for the Hive to conquer. We cannot allow that to happen, Guardian. You must do what is necessary to prevent it. And so must I.